Welcome back. Here we are again. This is definitely not the same day. Definitely not almost midnight with one of these damn cats burying their shit and me continuing to open my calendar. So, wait, what day is today? Today's the 6th? Okay, so I should go up to 6. Right? Echo, what's today? Today is Tuesday, December 6th. Okay, thanks. Okay, number two. <laughs> Ooh! This one is... Oh, my God. oh I don't know why. This also... I've said in a different clip, I don't know if I ended up putting it in. I've had nails. These are my Christmas nails. Get into it. Santa hat realness. I've had acrylic nails for like a month, which is like record breaking time. I usually have them for at most like two weeks and then I rip them off or I soak them off and file them down. I don't rip my nails off and ruin my actual nails. This one is orange yuzu and grapefruit. Interesting. I also, I might make recipes with these. I don't know. So day two, this is the fruit spread of the day. Hello, son. How are you? Are you enjoying your little adventure with your mom? And that you get to go to the gym today? I know you just sit in your strolly the whole time, but what do you think? Let's do a mini coffee chit chats with Cass because I have not done one in, I think, years at this point. I kind of stopped because I felt like I would rather put out, and this is not in this vlogmas sense because some of this is going to be more mukbangs, like just sitting and talking kind of things to try to catch up, but I didn't want to just pump out content for the sake of it. I wanted to try to do more quality over quantity. So I, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I also thought I finished Vlogmas last year. Turns out I did not, but the kitchen deal was really, if I'm being completely honest, probably about 80% of the reason why, because it became incredibly hard to not only film in my house where my kitchen was in complete disarray, but really like most other rooms in the house. And I was feeling really unmotivated. So anyway, long story long, I didn't actually finish Vlogmas last year and I was convinced that I had, but cheers everybody. This is just a black iced coffee from the tap. I know it's not the same as like the nitro ones that it's like, you know, buble, whatever. Anyway, so let's discuss. This is gonna go on day two because it's what I should have been talking about but I have zero clips from on December 1st. My sister took my brother and I to therapy and just to be completely honest and transparent, I have been going to counseling for probably the last like two, well, maybe like closer to a year and a half to like two years at this point. It's been great. But my sister has also been going to therapy, I think for maybe the last year or so to try to deal with her own stuff. And so I was absolutely convinced that like there was going to be some kind of huge announcement or that it was essentially like a 13 reasons why kind of thing where it's like this is the ways in which you've wronged me and then we were all just getting our turn <laughs> to like go in and discuss that but it was not that at all uh, my sister's therapist is great her name is also jessica and she's really cool she seems kind of similar vibes like me just you know laid back tattoos piercings that kind of stuff she was really kind and I really liked being able to sit down and talk with my siblings and I won't go into any like detail of what we talked about because I think that's that's pretty personal but I can at least share that we did all three go together but I think that um, something that is very easy to forget as I become an adult or I would imagine like if you have siblings maybe you can relate to this that my siblings and I are we're we're very bonded but we don't talk to each other a ton and maybe that's just me because I'm the only one who doesn't live in Albuquerque but the way that I feel about it is like this I don't talk to my siblings every day or even like most days we do talk to each other pretty regularly but the way that I feel about it is I would rather hang out with them 
and talk to them when I see them than to like sit on the phone for like two hours. Also, my sister has two kids. She's incredibly busy dealing with her own stuff and my brother works too. So rather than talking and being on the phone a lot when we're not together, I find that I would rather go visit them frequently, which I do. For a hot minute during COVID, I feel like it kind of came to a halt. But I would say, especially this year, but gen generally speaking, I like to go about once every month or every other month. But I was smiling because I was thinking about the fact that this year I had two months that we were, well, I had one month that we went three weekends in a row to Albuquerque. And then I was supposed to do that again in August, but my car had started giving me trouble. Um, the Something was misfiring with the engine. This was back in August. So I missed my cousin's wedding, which I'm still kind of bummed about because I would have liked to have gone, but there was just no way because we were leaving like just in time to have pretty much like had a little bit of getting ready time and then been there for the ceremony. And we had to have a friend come tow us. Well, kind of, it was, it was a whole mess. Anyway, I digress. But what I was going to say is that I think it's easy to forget that your siblings are still your siblings and the dynamic that we had at least growing up is very much still the same. In, in a lot of ways, you know, like we've changed as people. So obviously the relationship we have with each sibling is going to be a little bit different, but even like collectively is a little bit different. But although I don't talk to my siblings every single day or like constantly, I know that if I were to call them because I've had to do this before and say, I need a favor, no questions asked, they would be there in a heartbeat. And that we do all love each other very much and we do get along. We have a good time. We're, I think it's kind of our family dynamic at large, but especially with us siblings, we very much are like roasty and like kind of shit talky, which has like presented its own, I guess, complications. Not really. It just, it's not the way that like Andrew was raised. He was raised, which I mean, I don't know. This is my personal opinion. He's, I, and I think this is like to a relationship perspective, not like between siblings. He says that he was raised in a more like loving and like kind words kind of environment. Like his brothers and his mom, every time they call each other and hang up, they say, okay, I love you, bye. My family doesn't really do that a whole ton. Maybe that's, maybe that's not normal. Hmm. Some people won't even talk to their families. So like, what is normal even? Yeah. All that to say, I do love my siblings a lot and I would do anything for them. And that is even extends down to my niece and nephew. Recently when I was up there, I think it was when I, oh, I'm pretty sure it was when I was working on a show or something. I had gone up because my nephew and I were going to watch the Blues Clues movie, which if I'm being honest, it needed more Steve, but I grew up as Steve being my Blues Clues host. So I'm not surprised that that's my bias, but my niece kept like reaching up for me to like pick her up. And I just kind of thought, you know, she's like that with anybody, you know, because she's a baby. She just wants to, like, walk around, be held, whatever. And it was the last day that I was there. And she, I guess I didn't really notice either, but it, I, from what I understand, it was pretty constant <laughs> that she was doing that. And my sister said, you know, she doesn't do that with anybody else. She, like, she'll let other people hold her, but she's not constantly going up to them, like, you know, doing her, like, her arms are up all the way, but I can't do that or I'll be out of frame, but like this, with her arms extended. So my sister said jokingly that she's gonna have to start calling me Auntie Pick Me Up. So, I don't know. That made me feel really special, because I love that kid so much. I love all of my nieces and nephews. There's a lot of them. By the end of next year, we'll have 13 nieces and nephews collectively, which is a lot, but I think that it's really nice because we have children around us, so I I don't know if this is like a me thing. I don't think I've ever had baby fever in my life. So even if I did, I feel like I could very easily just go visit any one sibling with children and get that taken care of, or at least, you know, scratch the itch, if you will. But anyway, I'm gonna have a couple more sips of this coffee. And then I better skedaddle on inside because it's already noon I did also eat avocado toast I don't know if it's because it was free because of an offer in the Duncan app but it was extra crispy and delicious and I liked it I do just as a quick aside 
Typically, I prefer to get the avocado toast with roasted tomatoes. Chef's kiss, it's delicious. But I mean, the regular one is good too. They also have one with bacon that obviously I can't eat, but you know. Anyway, so. I better get inside, so.